And uh, we're going to have a big challenge in front of us. I mean, I've seen, I've seen Houston on tape in the preseason. Uh, you can see that they're a reflection of their coaching staff. They've got a lot of young players. They're fast. They're physical. They fly around. They play super hard. Um, so we're just going to, have to, we're going to have to be at our very best to win that game. Uh, it looked like uh, Dante Dimas was in the first round. The cuts was obviously a lot of interest in him because he's a local player. Sure. Um, what did he show, you know, maybe especially in that last preseason game, and then what do you think he still needs to show to keep his career going? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a, we had a great conversation, uh, numerous guys today, and uh, very personal conversations with guys. You know, it really does get, it's really, a, it's, it's individual. Everybody's in a kind of a different place, and you really get your opportunity to sit down and talk to guys about what they're trying to accomplish. And Dante really did a really good job. I mean, look, look how he showed in that last game. You know, I think throughout the course of the, uh, the offseason and, uh, and the training camp, I mean, he came out every day, and he worked at it. He's got talent. He's got radius. He's a physical player. It was just really fun to see him develop. I think he's got a bright future in the National Football League, and really what he needs is to keep doing what he's doing and, and, and get an opportunity and take advantage of it. Good? John, uh, these next couple days, every year, I mean, how tough is it for, for a head coach and a staff to – kind of whittled this down from an emotional standpoint, from a human standpoint. Right, yeah, the, the emotional standpoint is real. You have guys that you get close to. I mean, you have relationships. You get to know their stories through the whole process. You go to work every day, uh, have conversations. Uh, you know, sometimes guys, in, you know, you're, they're out there in kind of their vulnerable type trying to chase their dream in a moment, and uh, it, it's, it's very meaningful. Like we've said so many times, it's a very important part of, of uh, all of our lives, you know, but especially the guys who are trying to make their way for the first time in this league. So uh, I, I do, uh, it's a process that I take very seriously. All the coaches do, and I, I think we do a good job of just trying to personalize it and make sure that everybody understands where they stand and you know what they need to do to maybe get to the next level and also understand how much they're valued because we really value our guys. Those guys did a great job for us. John, has there been discrimination as far as the number two quarterback job you know, with Huntley and Josh? Yeah, the best answer I can give you is that we're, we're gonna work all that stuff out in the next couple of days. It's really not information that we're probably going to just put out there too much for any position, just because why would we? You know, it's not something that we need to do right now. But uh, uh, we, we've, we're making plans. In most cases, we have our plans uh, organized. Other, a few cases, maybe we still have some decisions to make. Is Huntley a candidate for uh, injured reserve at all? Or? I don't see that. No. Oh. No, I don't see that. He is. He is. It's uh, you know, it's not. You don't need to panic about that. And I tell the fans it's going to be okay. But um, he'll be. Out, should be out there practicing next week. I expect him to play in the game, and uh, he should be fine. So uh, that's where we're at with that. Yeah. Good. <laughs> it's okay. It's good. Yeah, that's a little, I don't really know. I'm a little more vague on that one. I think that's, uh, I'm hopeful, really, that he'll get back here, you know, first game, second game, third game, somewhere in there. Uh, but we'll just have to see. It's, uh, it's with the doctors and Tyus. So, I guess it's fair to say that NFI will be a consideration for tomorrow. I don't have any comments on any of that right now. Yeah. Great. All right. All right, thanks. Okay.